Yo, how's it going YouTube? I'm out here exploring uh, some routes today. Um, for those of you who are local, there's a local gravel event coming up in March. Sign up starts tonight actually. It's, uh, it's New Year's Eve right now. And this is one of the usual routes they do. But we just had freaking like two weeks worth of rain. And uh, yeah, there's the road. You can see it right there. And it came down from right there. I need to cross somehow without getting my feet wet. Well, I made it. I did it right there with that big rock. I always get myself into some fucking crazy ass adventures while I'm out on my gravel bike, man. I'll tell you what. Pro tip, if you ever come gravel riding with me, don't wear road shoes. <laughs> well, there's the road that's supposed to be there. It goes along through here. And there's where it's supposed to end up. So yeah, let's get rolling. All right. I wasn't expecting to do some uh, creek hiking today, but I probably should have. Like I said, we just had like two, two weeks of uh, epic ass rain just every day. I've gotten a few road rides in, but I've been on the trainer other than that. But the rain's supposed to be over. Yesterday was the last day and it was just a little bit of rain. So the trails should be getting a little drier now. Yeah, this is a... There's an event called uh, Strata Rosa in Redlands. It's a gravel event. It's not a race or anything, it's just a... You know, like most gravel events are, just a chill group thing. Um, but this is one of the routes that they usually do through here. And this is one of the only routes around here that I've never been on, so just thought I would explore it today. Go somewhere new. Yeah, it's uh, New Year's Eve right now. And the signups start tonight. And they're only allowing 300 people, so. I'm sure I'll be able to get into it, but who knows, you know, it might fill up instantly. Right now we're uh, kind of in between where Route 38 goes into the mountains and then Seven Oaks Dam. I think this comes out at Seven Oaks Dam. That's what I'm hoping. I didn't make a route. I'm just, uh, just winging it today. The dirt is pretty nice though. Watch out for these rut, ruts. I'll take you out. I've been missing out on this. This is just a random abandoned road in the middle of the field. I think there's a house in the other uh, in the other direction. It must be like a driveway or something. Of the Inland Empire uh, Valley. 
mean, there's a lot of trails out here to the right of me. A lot to explore out here. I want to go to the left. I see, I see the, the road I'm going to be taking right now. And I see some other bike tires too, so that's always a good sign. banana peel. It's a for sure sign of a cyclist right there. I don't think they put out the route for the Strata Rosa until like a couple days before. Which is kind of a bummer. I'd like to pre-ride it. It's not actually not till March though, so we'll see what happens. I'm hoping some of my uh, local gravel bros will sign up for it. I sent the message out, letting them know. And I got some beehives up here. People always put beehives on the trails, man. And the bees get pissed off when you go this close. Could I already see them swarming? Blast through here. Holy shit. Still a few bees, but I think I'm good. Man, one time I was hiking at a place called Etiwanda Falls, and uh, I walked next to a, a beehive, and they fucking started following me, man. And it was weird. Because uh, it's a popular trail, there was a bunch of other people there. But I'm the only one they started following. They must have liked my deodorant or some shit. And I had to run all the way down the mountain. And everybody was looking at me like, bro, what are you doing? I was like, dude, the bees are following me. They were all laughing. <laughs> I would have been too, but. And there was a. Uh, those crazy bees too, those like mountain bees. They weren't just some normal honey bees. They're the wild bees. I always have bad luck with bees though. Oh, look at this. Right. Gotta take this down to the road. Crossing the road over there, and uh, going through that field that was on the other side of that look. First, I got to figure out how to get down in there. Which I assume this road goes down there. Low pressure in my tires right now, so I'm feeling confident. <laughs> it makes all the difference on a gravel bike, so that's like your only suspension of the tires. Yeah, that was not the easiest to stop. <laughs> I 
that's Seven Oaks Dam right there. And that's some old uh, historic bridge. I'm looking to go to the left here. All right, I found my way through. <clears throat> On the map, it said there was a, a RC airplane field right here. I think I just see, I saw an RC airplane. That should be cool. I got some new stuff on this bike today. I have a, a new saddle, an Ergon saddle. The same one I use on my road bike. This, uh, some more bees. This bike came with one of the specialized power saddles. It's super wide. And it was giving me hip pain. I'm holding my legs open too far. So this feels good. And I'm using new lube too. I was using the finish line dry, which I'm, it's always dry where I'm riding. And uh, every time, man, when I'd hit some dust, it just got squeaky. So right now I'm using rock and roll gold lube. And it's working out pretty good. No squeak shit. Drive train's still feeling pretty good. So I'm happy about that. Oh, there's the RC uh, spot. Just a little, a few little booths with some wind socks down here to the right of me. There's a little river right next to me. A pretty substantial river. There's water in Southern California. It's just all behind gates. I don't want people out here fucking with it. There's, there's a lot of idiots. A lot of idiots around here. I bet you there's some fish in there, man. Sun's out, now it's a beautiful day. Still quite cold. I'm on vacation right now for uh, this week and next week. I'm looking forward to next week, man, because it's just sunny every day. Back to perfect Southern California weather. I'll be getting to do some good rides. Oh, that was a roadrunner. I'm in some big uh, gravel rides. Looks like we're gonna go left, I guess. I have no idea where we're going here. Next week, it, uh, the sun will be out, it'll be in the 50s. The dirt will be perfect. Got the gravel bike nice and dialed. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, and there's just endless roads around here. Lots of rivers. This is right below that uh, Seven Oaks Dam, so it kind of makes sense. Man, what a cool little spot. This will be added to my uh, gravel routes. That's for sure. There's just so many roads that snake through here. Uh-oh.
Doesn't look like I'll be going here. I thought about riding through that river, but I definitely don't want to have uh, wet feet for the rest of my ride when it's so cold out. So I'm trying out these uh, Scratch Labs energy bars today for the first time. This one's pretty good. It's lemon raspberry. I also have the Scratch Labs uh, Rice Krispie, Rice Krispie Cakes. And those are alright too, but they're so dry, man. You gotta drink so much uh, fluid with them. These have a little bit more moisture to them, so that's cool. And we're in like island right now. This feels like some high desert terrain. Some Victorville type stuff. Hi again. Alright. Gotta watch out for them doggies. Unpredictable. It's getting a little sandy in here. It's all right though, because we're going downhill, so it's kind of fun. Drift around a little bit. because I don't want to have to turn around. There's a big quarry. You can see from the freeway right here. This road has to go somewhere though. Oh, deep sand. Look at the size of this quarry. One little machine down in there. This is the way out. The gate was wide open right there, came down right there. This road goes down into the quarry. And then you go that way to a road. Look at that beast. Look at the size of this machine. Holy shit. Thing looks old too. It doesn't really look at, like it's operational anymore. All right, everybody. That'll be the end of this gravel adventure. I'm coming up to a road here, so it'll be all road riding home from here. If you got this far, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd be so kind, uh, drop a like and maybe subscribe. See y'all on the next one. Yeah.